Yeah, back, so I never gone, ship. never gone to a bar, never gone to an actual like club. So yeah. whatever, I had to do my experimenting, and it was totally cool at first. Like going out with my friends on the weekend, a couple times a month. Really, it only started every other weekend. Yep. I thought I was good, and that's it's. I mean, all of the stupid cliches, which are not stupid because they totally are a thing. Like a hundred percent. Like I and I started with NA. And they say alcohol is a drug, blah, 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 blah. And, that and was, you trick yourself, right, yeah. into, into thinking it's not. Like, I used to think that weed wasn't a drug. Mm -hmm. And I would much rather all of my friends smoke weed than drink alcohol because, you know, you're probably not going to beat your wife where maybe if you're drinking alcohol, you would. Mm -hmm. You're not going to go out. And <laughs> if you do, for some reason, get behind mm -hmm. the wheel of a car, not saying it's a okay idea, but you're probably going to be driving... Uh, 10 miles, miles an hour an <laughs> under the speed limit yeah. rather than, you know, 40 on the freeway. <laughs> yeah. Rather than going 80 through a school zone or something. Yeah. And I, I just think that marijuana has got its own problems, but it really just dampers everything where mm. alcohol is just, it brings out in, in some rare cases, the best in people. And in most cases, the worst. Yeah. And one thing that I heard when it's funny, cause I got an underage drinking ticket when I was like 17 and maybe I was 18 at the time, but under 21 for sure. And I had to go in order to get my license back because they, uh, where I live, they suspend your license for six months mm -hmm. once you get your second one, I think. And I had to go to this like, you know, court mandated mm -hmm. class. And I just, I went there and like you said, like, I'm like, oh, well, I'm not these people. Like there yep. are people in there for, you know, that had gotten busted selling heroin. And there were people that were like way worse than I ever got. Yeah. But uh, they all had the same problem just on a different scale. And I'm sitting there thinking, this is what young people do. We just get fucked up and party. And that's what we're fed by movies and pop mm -hmm. culture and stuff that, that when you're in high school and college, you party, you get belligerent, you do stupid, stupid things. Shit. Yeah. And, um, it's just, I thought that that was my identity. Mm -hmm. Right. So I dealt with the same thing. And anyways, in this, in this class that I had to go to this, uh, teacher or whatever you want to call him, um, had said something that always stuck with me, which was, you know, alcohol and drugs and everything. It always starts out like all fun, right? Mm -hmm. Like the first time you drink, it's like, woo, like no problems, nothing. And then it becomes a little problematic, but still mostly fun. Like let yeah. it rip, you know? And then it becomes like 50, 50, like you start getting into fights and you start losing money or spending money or you start doing, you know, you get a DUI or whatever. Right. And then it all of a sudden, when you look like fast forward, it's like, you're having health issues. You're having mm -hmm. mental health mm -hmm. issues you're depressed, you're in jail, you have fines that you owe, you're yeah. spending all sorts of money and it's almost all problems and no fun. And mm -hmm. when I got sober, that's how I felt. I was like, okay, let's look at <laughs> what's going on here. Like this is not adding up to the life that I want. Mm -hmm. So I've got to make a change. And I feel like you have actually found that pivot. Like you realize like how many times do I have to do the same thing over again with the same result? It's not going to change. It's just going to get worse. Yeah. You know, so yeah. 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 That was, I was out there, out there <clears throat> from probably 21 to 23 ish with it just steadily getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. And then it was, yeah, it was every day. It was always needing t something to be okay. And I remember like thinking like, how, how is it even possible? Like I literally take or drink something mm -hmm. to be, do anything to be okay in yeah. life. Like, how am I supposed to, like, how am I supposed to live sober? Like, it's just seemed absolutely impossible. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. If you like content like this, go to the description below. The full video should be there. And do not forget to like and subscribe. 97% of the people that watch this channel are unsubscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. It does a lot for the channel and it gives you more content like this. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.